Hey Libras, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Okay, what was that? Ten of Swords is in reverse. Wow. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is in the upright. Two tens already. Some of you could be getting over something. Healing. Okay? Some of you, I don't know if you got like a... What do you call that? Like a prognosis that something was wrong with your body? Mm-hmm. And it's like, nope. Mm-mm. So you could be going through treatment. I'm getting treatment. Yeah. You could also be saying no to some type of surgery. Did I get this for you before? I may have gotten this for you before. It's like, no, that's not for me. Mm -mm. I also feel the energy of someone who you you could have been having some type of ending with. I'm trying to word it correctly. You could have had or came close. Let me say that. You could have come close to having an ending with someone. And now things are starting to turn around. You're starting to heal something with this person. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me for Libra. What's going on? What's going on with Libra? What's going on with Libra? Three of Pentacles is here. Yeah, it's like coming together, working together with someone, working together with this person. Ace of Swords, you have clarity, truth. Because someone decided to be honest about something. Someone needed to be honest about something. Yeah. Yeah. Two of Swords, someone made a decision here or is making a decision. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, let's get into it. Show me this Ten of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords reverse for Libra. Whoa, that was a stack. For Libra, Ten of Swords reverse for Libra. We have the Ace of Cups. Uh-huh, the Moon. Whoa, the Five of Cups. It almost wanted to flip in reverse. I feel like, yeah, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like for some of you, if you thought your love life was over, it's like, it's not. It's not the end. You will, you will date again. You will love again. Ten of Swords is in reverse. Ace of Cups. You may have some fear surrounding starting something new. <laughs> Yeah, I also, I'm still getting, it's like some of you, you may go back to the past and try to work something out with someone that you thought it was over with. You may try to work something out with this person because new love may scare you. It may scare you to have to start over. It may scare you. Three of Pentacles, show me for Libra. Judgment, yeah. Six of Swords. The tower, kaboom. Yeah. I don't know if a Scorpio is doubling back. Someone is doubling back. After there was some type of ending or someone someone could have separated, moved out. This could have even made it to maybe divorce court for some of you. But someone decided like, no, I, I actually want to work on this. Nine of Wands. It's a lot of work indeed. With the Pisces for some of you, High Priestess, Hangman. Yeah, Pisces energy is back to back. You could have been working on something with the Pisces. Whew, why is this so stressful? Hermit, Virgo's energy, the star. Things that you've been keeping to yourself. You've been trying to heal this. The world card. I'm also getting the energy of someone who had a drinking problem. Someone is trying to heal from being an alcoholic. Someone could have gone to rehab. Hermit with the star. Someone could be in rehab. Or they just finished a program with the energy of the world. The star is healing. 
Yeah, someone had to go and be by themselves. The hermit, they may have to, may have had to go away to a program. They may have gotten help. Three of Pentacles, they may have gotten help from a program or someone that helped them to enroll. And it was a lot of grueling work. Someone may have had to go through detox. I got this energy for cancers. Uh, was What was it, last week? It may have been their singles read last week. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Or you could be a cancer that's cross-watching for a Libra. But I feel like someone is getting over alcohol. Like this has been an issue. This has been an ongoing problem. Okay. Ace of Swords. Show me for Libra. Show me for Libra. Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. All these Aces are coming out. Ace of Cups came out first. Ace of Swords second. Now we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like here in this energy with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, I feel like someone here is not ready to let go of this connection. They still want to try to work it out, work on things. Show me that Knight of Wands. Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. This could be, let me say this. If you were about to end it with someone, it's because this person may have been doing some reckless shit. Knight of Wands with the Three of Cups while you're at home being a Queen of Pentacles. It's like someone someone likes to be wild or someone likes to party a lot. And they almost lost you. Someone almost lost you. I'm also getting the... This could be a friend as well. If this is not romantic, you're not with anyone romantic. Someone almost lost a friendship with you because this person is just too wild or too reckless or they drink too much. They always take it too far. Wow. Okay, what was that? Ten of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. So... As time goes on, see, there's two tens here. It's the Wheel of Fortune, but it still has a ten at the top of the card. I feel like things will change in the future. But right now, it's like, oh, Yeah, Eight of Wands, okay. Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. Someone really needs to... Like, get out of this fast-moving, reckless energy. Someone needs to slow down. Knight of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles. It's like someone has been on the go. Or I also feel the energy of someone who left you at home a lot. Like, maybe their job always took them away. Someone was always traveling. Or they were always maybe prioritizing their friends. Yeah. And it's like someone is getting older and someone is starting to slow down or they're starting to realize like that fast life is not it. Show me Libra's energy toward this person, the situation this week. Libra's energy. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> the Fool. And the Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Emperor. You love this person. They could get on your nerves. But there's still some type of love that you have for this person. Nine of Pentacles. You, <laughs> I'm going to say it like this. Sometimes you may act like you're single or you, you know, some of you are single watching this. So obviously that's not for you. If you're in a relationship with this person, you may act single. Sometimes you may go out by yourself. I just feel a lot of separation with you and this person, like emotional separation. But you may stick with this person and try to work something out. Mm, it may seem foolish, the full energy to the Seven of Pentacles, but you may stay and try to work something out. Seven of Wands is here. 
Three of Swords. Mm hmm. Six of Pentacles. Libra, I don't, I don't know what kind of pull this person has on you, but they definitely have a pull on you. Maybe they, you know, the two of you share children. Maybe they have some type of, you know, leverage with you or or against you. I'm not sure. Of course, that would have to be figured out through a personal reading. But what I'm seeing, generally speaking, I feel like you feel obligated to work out something with this person and you're going to stick with them. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. You may get defensive sometimes. You may feel disappointed sometimes. But Six of Pentacles, you're still going to try to work out something with this person. It's almost like because deep down, there's still love here. What will come of the situation this week between, okay, between Libra and this person? We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. We also have king of pentacles. A lot of patience with this person. We already had the queen of pentacles come out. Yeah, I showed you the queen of pentacles. She's in there somewhere. There she is. I just wanted to show you again. Temperance, having a lot of patience to be in this relationship with this person. Two of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords. Okay. Your energy, Libra, with justice. Mm. I feel like... Now, now, some of you could be with a fellow air sign. I feel like this is something that... You just, you don't want to deal with it right now. You may want to keep the peace or be trying hard to keep the peace. You don't want to deal with having to go through a divorce or, you know, that's why I said something almost ended, but it's like someone changed their mind. Someone decided to work something out. You could have took back the ending and said, no, you know, I'm not going to completely throw away this person. I want to work something out. You could be feeling confused, yeah, about walking away from this person. Eight of Cups, Four of Swords. Again, it's almost like you just don't want to deal with it right now. You don't want to think about being lonely or alone. Page of Wands is here. Page of Cups. The Sun. It's because a lot of you share children with this person. It could be up to three children that you share with this person. These are all pages and it reminds me of kids because they're, they're, they are kids on the cards. Some of you could share kids with this person. And so it's like, you know what? I want to walk away eight of cups, but I'm going to put it on ice, four of swords. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to completely shut this person out because we share kids. And we, I mean, this feels like a personal reading as I'm doing it, but it's like, you know, I stay for the kids, you know? So this may be an arrangement that the two of you have. <sighs> like I said, you may get defensive. You may get frustrated. You may feel sad with the seven of swords or uh, seven of wands, three of swords, but you still are trying to work something out with this person. Okay, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on in this connection for Libras in this situation this week? Cupid, yeah, uh-huh, love is in the air. I feel like you're trying to make something work. This person trying to make something work with you. Wanting this person to be receptive. They're wanting you to be receptive of this love. Trying to get the love and romance back. Power is here. Yeah, it says the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. Yeah, you may feel this overwhelming need to be with this person. They may feel it with you as well. The cross watcher dealing with the Libra. Anything else Libra should know? Synchronicity. You may be getting signs <clears throat> from, from spirit. But we also have illusion at the bottom of the deck. It says, avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. 
Okay, you guys. So, it, you know, it's up to you. Spirit can only guide you. A lot of people don't follow the guidance. You know, it's up to you what you want. Okay? Because I do see that this is a really... Uh, that card was clear your karma. This is a really difficult uh, connection to deal with. Okay? This is hard, you know? But if you can make it work and this person is willing to put in the work like you are, then this can be overcome. Okay? Facing my shadow removes darkness from the world. Needing to face the, the ugly part of this relationship, this connection. Choosing kindness instead of attacking each other or being mean to each other, learning to choose kindness. And one more, you are a divine facet of the universe. Realizing your worth in this, okay? So if this person does decide to walk away from you, realizing that you are still worthy of love, no matter what this person decides to do. Advice or insight for Libra in this situation. Advice or insight. We have, there's no need to worry. Mm, no need to worry. Spirit is going to work it out. <laughs> Whether it's with this person or without them. Okay? You may have to compromise in order to, you know, get this person uh, and yourself on the same page. There may have to be a lot of talking, a lot of working things out, a lot of compromising. There's no room to be selfish for either of you. There, there has to be a major compromise. Alrighty, Libras, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.